Uh, I'm Hal Bell, and right now I'm 102 years old almost. I'm a professional aerospace engineer, and uh, I've done things like launching satellites and designing them, and, and actually came to Albuquerque to work on advanced satellites and uh, things like that. When we first moved to Albuquerque, uh, we didn't know anything about the Pueblos. We didn't know anything about the history, and Albuquerque's got such a wonderful history and such. So we started taking classes at UNM's continuing education. One of them happened to be in the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology, which is a great teaching museum. It was fascinating. And I made the mistake of saying, hey, this is great. Can I help anywhere? Well, there's an old Chinese saying that says, never let a volunteer escape. And so that's what I did. I ended up six or seven years later as the president of the Maxwell Museum Association. And it just all happened that way. And it's the same thing with the Nuclear Museum. Active young lady was the uh, DOE employee, was the director. And when I went in there with some information that I had, because during the war, uh, World War II that is, I was uh, working on the atomic bomb project and spent most of my army career on the atomic bomb project. So I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to get rid of. And I went in there to ask her if she could use it. Well, 15 minutes later, I left there and I was a charter member of the uh, foundation and on the board. Just again, being in the right place at the wrong time. And uh, I've been very, very active on that museum ever since. The Albuquerque Museum was something else again. My wife was a, an artist. She has uh, uh, paintings in number of museums, including the Albuquerque Museum, the UNM Museum. She was a teacher, she taught art, loved it. And we traveled a lot, over a hundred countries and every one of the continents. She taught her uh, UNM classes in her st studio, workshop, uh, classroom at our home. Most of her students ended up being a real cheering section. One of them turned to me one day and said uh, that she was on the board of trustees, theoretically appointed by the mayor, and, and there was an opening, and was I interested in applying for it? And that sounded like fun, so I did. Five or six years later, I was the chairman of the board. So that's how it got involved. Nuclear Museum, which we changed the name, and incidentally, I was the chairman of the committee who was raising the money for building that thing. I, I had decided when I joined it that I, I wasn't quite interested in people calling it the bomb museum and I thought nuclear uh, science would be much more interesting by going to meetings and talking to people. I met Nobel Prize winners and got all kinds of things for the museum. In fact, they call me the chief scrounger over there now. Well, I've been um, dragged back into the JCC, old men's group, old men, over 65. Here I'm gonna be 102. The old men's group is quite interesting and I try to get over there, but manage to do it about half of the time. It, it, keep, it keeps me busy and out of trouble. My wife passed away in 2011, and as I said before, she was a uh, fanatic teacher. Uh, she just loved teaching. So I sort of continued that and with my three sons. We have been setting up Reggie Bell Drawing Awards. So we have, we have three awards at Pratt Institute, at UNM, and at the Albuquerque Museum. Well, I didn't, I didn't expect any awards but it's kind of nice to recognize the fact that we're doing things like that. And I've always said, again, going back to that old Chinese saying, never let a volunteer escape. So I, I think that any uh, recognition of people volunteering and doing good deeds and 
things like that, maybe will inspire other people to do it. That's one of the main things. It's nice to get other people involved just because you have been.